This week's resto tip is jig building. In this particular jig we're building, uh, we have a 64 Galaxy, we have the uh, control arm and we built a jig for it so that we can build the new control arms tubular for lighter weight and uh, also the wow factor for you know better looks. As you can see the factory ball joint has been uh, bolted down and threaded tubing here it's the exact same that Ford built it. And we spin it around here. And you see the shaft has been mated. And we'll simply use our new shafts with a new ball joint. And we'll build them out of tubular steel. And uh, we'll show them to you when we get done with them. We build them. This, this is for the, the left and the right side. And you just turn the jig over and you have the other side. It's not completely welded yet. We still have to weld it in once we get the uh, piece on it, but just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. This week's resto tip, uh, we showed you last week the jigs to make the upper and lower control arms and Louie has the pieces all cut for the the other side so he can get that welded. And you can see the tubing and the different plates and the brackets all ready to go, including the link. So we'll put these together and we'll show you what it looks like all done. Alright, this week's tip uh, we showed you last week. Uh, the different pieces it takes to make a control arm and Louie had uh, built all the pieces. We have them over here on the table and he's going to put them together. Louis, what, what, what exactly are you doing here? Explain to us. Uh, what we're going to do is show you like uh, how we lay each tube in the jig to actually make the control arm. Uh, the first off what we're going to do is going to slip a sleeve that we made in the house to, into the lower control arm bushing to hold it in place. And we'll use a T-handle as a dowel that we've made here also. Just slip this in there. This will line everything up. Keep it centered and true. We've got two of them, one for the front and one for the rear part. It's all lined up precise, huh? Yep. Got the both pieces here holding everything square. Next after that, we'll lay the ball joint on top and the top studs here. This will be bolted down together with the tubes. Then we have uh, the rear tube slides into place. It's held by the half pipe cuts in the cradle to keep everything lined up. Those two pieces here. Have another one here on top. Then we'll have our top ball joint plate. They'll ride it right here on top. What we'll do is stick two bolts in there. Actually bolt it up down tight, yeah. Yeah. The more we can bolt down, the better. The less chance we have anything moving around when we're welding it. some regular hose clamps they will wrap around the tube and these will hold the tubes in place until after everything's welded and cooled down so we won't have any shifting and throw another one on over here After that, we have these two identical brackets with a spacer. These are actually be your, your shock mounts. We'll throw those in. This spacer here will actually be, uh, be used in the shock itself to space it out and act as a shim for the shock for support. We'll run a boat through there. The last piece is the, the actual tubing that holds the shock in place. Now we'll go in there like that. Pretty sweet. And now all we got to do is weld it up and we got ourselves a control arm ready to rock and roll. Now it looks like it worked out just fine. We'll take a look after we get done welding and what it looks like on the car. From this angle you can see the uh, lower control arm is welded and installed. Now of course it'll have to be 
smoothed out and painted, uh, you know, but in, in the rough, this is what it looks like you can see, a big difference compared to the very large control arm uh, the Galaxy originally came with, which we'll show you here in a second. Inside angle, and you can see special plates to reinforce the inside of the control arm so that it's not just bolted on the outer, but also on the inside. And you can see that. And we'll take a look at the original control arm just so that you can see what it looked like. 